Wanna shake the ground Wanna break away, let loose I'm tired of waiting Gonna make that move Hey everyone! First of all, I hope you had an amazing Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. It is the week between Christmas and New Year's right now that this video is going up and that I'm filming this. It is actually the day after Christmas, so there is some serious, serious after Christmas chaos going on in my house right now. And I figured if it's happening in mine, it might be happening in yours. So let's do this. I'm starting off in the kitchen and I'm going to be really honest with you guys. When I first started today, I didn't even know if I was ever going to get this kitchen clean. It was just so crazy in my living room too. I looked at it and I was so overwhelmed thinking, am I ever going to get this clean? But it all came together, so if you have that problem too, just know that everything comes together in the end. I am right there with you. Sometimes I'll look at a huge mess and think that I don't even want to do it, but it feels so much better after it's all clean. This video is jam-packed with cleaning motivation, so I hope that you'll clean along with me, or if you're taking this week off, that is totally fine too. I just hope that you really, really enjoy this. And if this is your first time clicking on my video, first of all, thank you so much. My name is Bella, and I do a ton of call making type videos on this channel, so if that is your jam, please consider subscribing and sticking around. We would love to have you. The first thing I'm going to do is load up my dishwasher and I think that you probably saw a little bit earlier there are a ton of bottles sitting by my sink. When is there not bottle moms? I know you can relate. And now I'm just kind of moving around putting everything away and I got these Yeti cups for Christmas. I love them. I found out they're dishwasher safe and that makes them even better. And you already know, I'm super curious, let everybody in the comments know what you got for Christmas and what you are absolutely loving right now. Also, haven't even addressed this yet, I hope you like my ugly sweater. Me and Matt wore these matching ugly sweaters. They're not matching, he has Santa sharks and I fell in love with these little snowmen. We actually got these several years ago. I've had these since before I was even pregnant with Kennedy. They're that old. I think I got them from Macy's or JCPenney. So I don't know if they're still there if you are into ugly sweaters, but that is just me and Matt. We like to have a lot of fun on Christmas. We couldn't find one for Kennedy but she will be joining the Ugly Sweater Gang next year. Now I'm finishing up on Kennedy's bottles and then I'm gonna move on to cleaning the sink and usually I'll take my time cleaning the sink but I wanted to keep this video just super, super motivational, super fast paced and jam packed with all the cleaning motivation that you could ever need so that you could either live vicariously or you could muster up the motivation to get your house clean before New Year's because I know if you're anything like me, kind of the week between Christmas and New Year's just kind of feels like a total blur and not a lot of things get done. But if you can just get up and clean, I'm sure that you'll feel so much better because Christmas was so overwhelming the holiday season is in general and I feel like it's not quite over I never feel like the holidays are over until it's January 6th when the Christmas decorations come down because that's when we take down our Christmas decorations because my parents they always told me that that's when the wise men got to baby Jesus I don't know if that's true it's probably not because baby Jesus wasn't even born in December but I don't know if that's the actual kind of time span that it took but that's what my family has always done and I know that I asked in my last video what you guys do and you guys said that you take your Christmas decorations down right after New Year's I don't know I think I'm still gonna leave them up until January 6th but if it gets a little bit too overwhelming I might take them down a little bit early Probably won't though because I'm totally that person that just loves Christmas decorations but I don't know what it is this year. Maybe it's, this is the first time that I've had a toddler and I'm really really doing the mom thing because Kennedy was just so little last year. But 
Christmas was especially overwhelming for me this year. Let me know if that was just me. It might not be, it might be everybody, but I feel like it was a little bit more overwhelming than it usually is. But now I'm moving around my kitchen and I'm cleaning up all the surfaces. There's my sweet little Kennedy playing on her tablet. I kind of had to clean around her tablet there. She is throwing it off because toddler troubles and she wanted to push it off again so I just put it on the table and I just kind of like wiped down around her. There I am feeding her some fruit, just mom things. I know that you guys can totally relate to what I'm doing right now and I'm just kind of picking things up as I go, picking up her tablet, cleaning under it. I didn't even move the centerpiece, I just kind of left it there because mom life and it just felt way easier to leave it there. And in a second here, I am going to show you the dress that she wore for Christmas Eve. Let me know what you guys think. I love this dress. I found it on Amazon, but it's from Kohl's and I'm sure that it'll be there next year because it's so cute. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now I'm moving into our living room and I'm straightening up our couch and I don't know if you can tell out the window there but it was getting a little bit dark and after Christmas fatigue is really really real so after this I did break for the day and I pick it up the next day but I did want to get this under control before we kind of wound down for the night and went to bed. Alright guys, so it is the next day. My hair is wet. I just got out of the shower, so we're looking like a mess. Definitely still day after Christmas vibes. No makeup, apologize for all this. Sorry, but I glue up for Christmas and now I'm glowing back down. <laughs> and I made a little list of things I have to do today. Let's see, I'll show you the list. So I have to repack Kennedy's diaper bag, unpack Kennedy's gifts, move Kennedy's toys into her room and clean her room. I'm gonna break down, I'll show you. All of these boxes, they are all still there. And I also really, 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 if we have time, I want to clean the floors because they are honestly kind of gross. So as you can see, there are still all these toys and all these presents around. Have to do another room declutter. I know we just did that. All right, now to unpack this box. It's mainly me and Matt's presents. I think there are some that are Kennedy's in there, but it's mainly, honestly, it's mainly mine. We just threw everything into a box after leaving my cousin's house so that we could just get everything home in one piece. That is a C's candy ornament, by the way. Let me know if your family is as obsessed with C's candy as mine is around Christmas. And I'm about to show you how I wrap up my ornaments. It's nothing fancy, I just use some paper towel from the kitchen. I am in love with my new cake plate. My mom got this for me for Christmas. And my mom also got me a silicone baking mat and an egg separator, cause mine is actually hers. Now to break down all of that cardboard that was sitting in my kitchen driving me absolutely crazy. I did this super quick. Honestly, it didn't even take that much time, so I was just dreading it for no reason. But it's even quicker on video, and I wish that it could go that quick in real life. That would be amazing.
now to get all of Kennedy's new Christmas toys into her room. I just threw them by the fireplace. That's what my parents did with my Christmas presents when I was little, but look at this mess. I swear two or three days ago, this place was perfectly clean and look at it now. So it is time to get this all under control. I am just moving around the room, kind of separating things into categories, whether it's books, new toys, toys that go in the toy box. I actually am putting a bunch of toys in the toy box. I'm leaving out her Christmas toys and her Christmas themed toys. They're kind of separate. She has a couple elves and a couple Christmas teddy bears. And then I'm putting all the new toys right out in front, in front of her toy box so that they can either be taken out of their boxes by Matt, who said that he's going to do it a little bit later, or they can be played with easily like her new unicorn. And also after I finished filming this video, her new tent came in. So she also has a fun little tent that she can play in in her room. And it's crazy because I was able to teach her the difference between stars and hearts. So now she can point to stars and hearts. It's just crazy how smart she is. I am so impressed by what she can do every single day. And while we were enjoying Christmas with family, I noticed that her diaper bag had gotten completely out of control. Everything was just shoved in there. As you can see, there was a bunch of blankets and clothes that came out of it. Things were misplaced. It was just time to do a really thorough repack of this thing. It's basic stuff. It's diapers. It's wipes. Um, I'm going to throw a blanket in there a little bit later. But just the basic stuff, it just had to be put back where it's supposed to go so that it doesn't drive me absolutely crazy when I'm trying to find something. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, the floors were nasty, so it was time to get them all cleaned up and enjoy the awkward Swiffering because right there is Kennedy's door and I was trying so, so hard to be quiet since this was after my nightly cleaning routine and everything and she was in bed and I was like tiptoeing, literally trying to not wake her up, praying the entire time. And I don't know what it is about freshly mopped or Swiffered floors that just hit different but oh my gosh they just feel so good to walk around on i always say this that i need to get around to mopping more often and then i never do it it's just so bad the last time i swiffered these floors were when you guys saw it. it was the last time i did it on video and i need to be doing this more often just for the satisfaction of them being clean and feeling so good on your feet you guys know what i mean when you walk around barefoot in your house after you've freshly swiffered your floors they just feel so smooth and clean i don't know what it is i don't even know how to describe it it's just like a different level of happiness and honestly when i'm getting really real with myself it doesn't even take that long it's honestly just me being super lazy and just not wanting to but i just have to remember it's like eye on the prize like they just feel so good after
and I figured while I had the mop out, I already had the Swiffer out, so might as well do some super thorough cleaning. So I pulled out all the chairs and really got under this kitchen table because if you have little kids or toddlers, you can totally relate. It just gets sticky and gross right under that high chair. So it was really time to really deep clean that. And I wanted to make sure that I share this before the new year. This was actually before Christmas. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know a little bit about the situation. But our sink somehow just backed up. I have no idea what it was. We tried everything. We tried the drain cleaner. We tried to do it ourselves and we can't figure out what happened. We ended up having to use a drain snake. So just here's a reminder, just be super careful about what you put down the drain. My dad actually has a tip. It's use a lot of water to a little bit of what you're putting down. So just make sure that you really pour a ton of water and use a ton of water when you're trying to use your garbage disposal because things just get stuck there. The garbage disposal is apparently not as effective as most people think it is according to my dad. So just here's your reminder to play it safe with that. And as another reminder, I have a ton of cleaning motivation, extreme cleaning motivation on my channel, and I have that all in a clean with me playlist that is super easy to find on my channel. If you need that, go check that out. I've already decided that I'm going to make this day after Christmas, the day after Christmas vibes video a thing on my channel because it's just something we all need. It just gets super crazy around the holidays and it's a reminder that even houses that usually get cleaned quite frequently explode and are super crazy the day after Christmas too so you are not alone and since you made it this far in the video I feel like I can trust you guys so I'm going to get super sappy here for a second by the way if you are still here leave me a little celebration emoji because it is going to be New Year's in a couple of days and this was my first year on YouTube. I've almost been on YouTube for a full year now and that is because of you guys. When I feel discouraged or not super motivated, you guys keep me going and I just want to thank you for that. You guys honestly mean so much to me. Like I truly do love you guys. I feel like everybody says that but I seriously, seriously mean it. And if you are new here or you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please consider doing it because it just helps my channel out so much. So please consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on your notifications because it really, really helps out. So I hope that you just have the most fantastic New Year's that you have ever had in your life. And I will see you in 2022. Bye beauties.